let's get into it and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be highlighting in this video my leave-in conditioner that I used and I used from Shea Moisture Jamaican Plat I use Jam Hey, it's me, Naturally Z, and welcome back to my channel where I do feature my natural hair journey as well as my fitness journey at my current age of 54 years old. And I'm coming at you today about my natural hair care, and I want to go ahead and continue my series where I am highlighting a product that I used on my wash day, in fact my last wash day, providing you information on how to read a product label. Because when you know how to read a product label, then you'll be able to make better decisions in the products that you buy and also in determining when is the best time to use one product compared to another product. So. I use Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner Cream. So before I get into actually listing the ingredients in the product, let me just give a little bit of a way of how you read a product label. So when it comes to a product, there is a front label and then there's a back label. Now with the front label, what is on there, it's called the marketing label. And what that is, is that the manufacturer will put on here keywords that will lure you in as a consumer to buy it. But if you really want to know what is in this product, then you really need to turn the product around and look at the back label. Because as far as the back label, it will list the ingredients. Now, it's required by law for a manufacturer to actually put all the ingredients in the order of concentration on the back of the product by highest to lowest. We know which ingredient is the most in this product compared to what is least in this product and that will help us to know which ingredients have the most impact on your hair and another thing when it comes to the list the top seven ingredients have the most impact on your hair and so what I'm going to do here is list the top seven ingredients in this product and then I'll go back and explain each ingredient and how they work together and what they're expected to do for your hair. So in this case it's going to be the leave-in conditioner. Now this leave-in conditioning cream it is something that you do not wash out. It is something that you apply to your hair and you leave it on your hair. So it's meant to condition your hair and that is something that is very common for women who are wearing their hair natural to use a leave-in conditioning cream to maintain and moisturize the hair. So for this particular leave-in conditioning cream, let me list the top seven ingredients. Starting with number one, it is water. Number two is castor seed oil. Number three, sterile alcohol. 
Number four, cetyl alcohol. Number five, behetramonium chloride. Number six is fragrance. Number seven is shea butter. Number, oh, well, number eight, I might as well do it because I think it's important, is coconut oil. Number nine is panthenol. So let's go back and go through the list of ingredients. Now water being number one, most hair products are water-based products. So any hair product that you pick up, the number one ingredient most likely will be water. And another thing that is common is also the concentration. So the concentration of water in most hair products are between 50% to 80% of the weight of the product. So in this case, this leave-in conditioning cream, 50 to 80% of this product is water. So you can see this package here, and if you go 50%, it'll be here, is that much of it is water. If you go up here, it's 80%. And so that leaves another 20% remaining for the rest of the ingredients in this product. So water in this case will have 50 to 80% of concentration in this product. The number two ingredient in this product is castor seed oil. And castor seed oil, let's just get this straight. Anything that says it's oil it is not a moisturizer. It's more of something to help the hair shine as well as something to smooth the hair down and also help to slow down the evaporation of moisture from the hair. Now, number three is sterile alcohol. Number four is cetyl alcohol. And those are fatty alcohols and these are really good alcohols that are extremely common in almost every hair product that you use and the reason why it's common is that it helps with mixing oil and water if you did not have these alcohols in your product then the oil would sit on top of the water and you need a compound that will help these two different compounds to come together and create a cream and that's what the sterile alcohol as well as acetyl alcohol does and they are known as emulsifiers and what these emulsifiers are they're basically like a soft wax and they also help to make the product thicker so it's more of a creamy type uh, texture instead of a watery texture um, it also helps with detangling the hair because of the wax it's sort of puts a coating over the hair strands so that it's easier to separate the hair strands and detangle the hair. It helps with softening the hair. So these alcohols have a lot of duties other than just helping to mix oil and water. So those are three and four. And then number five is Behentramonium Chloride. That's another common ingredient in hair products. Also, it's similar to cetyl alcohol and sterile alcohol in that it is a waxy-like substance that works as a defrizzer. It reduces static and it also softens the hair. Number six is fragrance. Fragrance doesn't help to moisturize the hair. It mainly is there to just to make the product smell good. Because when it comes to these alcohols, the sterile alcohol, the cetyl alcohol, and the behentramonium chloride, they are like this soft wax that has a faint odor. So the fragrance is put in there to simply help to improve the smell of the product. And then number seven is shea butter. That is a moisturizer. That is a conditioner that is in the product now it being number seven that indicates to me that it is not a featured ingredient in this product the featured ingredient in this leave-in conditioner is the water and the seed oil and the alcohols based on shea butter being listed as number seven you're not getting the most condition you can from this product and then number eight is coconut oil coconut oil is 
again in this case it is not adding a lot to this product coconut oil is a good ingredient in order to seal in moisture but in this case it being listed number eight on this list is not a key ingredient in this product and then number nine is panthenol panthenol is a humectant and a humectant is an ingredient that helps to pull moisture from the air and have your hair absorb that moisture. And again, panthenol being listed number nine on this ingredients list, it's not a featured ingredient, so it doesn't have the impact that the ingredients before it have. So just so you know, like I said before, the marketing label on the front is different than the label on the back. The back is the truth. The front is something just to lure you in to buy the product. And it notes on the front, shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. Now shea butter in this case is number seven on the list. So it has a little bit of an impact. And the peppermint, it is listed as number 26. So that means it has next to no concentration in this product. And the apple cider vinegar is actually third to last on the ingredients list. So that's another indicator that it does not have a huge or next to no impact on your hair. So that is it for the leave-in conditioning cream from Shea Border. So that is it for the leave-in conditioner from Shea Butter Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Strengthen and Restore line. And it one week later. Hey, I'm back at you a few days later after this video that I just made because I wanted to give you guys a really good ending. Um, as you saw there, there was a semi truck that was outside the house, so I wasn't able to finish off the video. And what I want to do right now is just give you a recap of the product to let you know what my thoughts are about this product. So as you saw, I gave you the first seven ingredients of this product and based on those ingredients I want to give you an idea of what this product is supposed to be doing for your hair and I did write it down and I do like writing it down because I want to give you the best information and be accurate on this so with this product like I said the first seven ingredients water is a ingredient that's in almost every hair product because the majority of the products that we use are water-based so following water the ingredients that I noted these ingredients tend to say to me that this product is meant for something other than just conditioning your hair because of the ingredients specifically starting with the uh, castor seed oil and then the alcohols being uh, sterile alcohol, acetyl alcohol, and then the behin trimonium chloride. These are all emulsifiers. One, what they're there to do is help to mix oil and water. Two, they are there to benefit your hair, and the way they are meant to benefit your hair is coat your hair strands. And what that means is literally those ingredients together are intended to put a coat over your hair, like a shield over your hair. And what that shield helps to do is one, more easily detangle the hair, two, provide better slip, meaning that your hands or your fingers are able to more easily go through your hair strands, also help to provide smoother hair strands, and with smoother hair strands, that makes your hair shinier. Also, the one of the last main things that it helps to do is seal the hair strands. So with that coating of your hair strands with the product, 
what you're doing is helping to slow down the loss of moisture from your hair strands. Other products that you put on your hair before the leave-in conditioning cream, those products may feature ingredients that are geared towards conditioning, moisturizing your hair. Well, once you put those products on your hair, then this leave-in conditioner is meant to help with coating the hair and sealing that conditioner moisture into the hair. And what that does is sealing it in, it helps to slow down losing moisture from your hair. All right, so that is it for this product. I hope you like my reading of the ingredients and breaking down what each ingredient does. And what else? Yeah, that's about it. Um, as far as my hair, I washed my hair last week and right now I have my hair in small two strand twist ends and I will be washing my hair in another couple of weeks. And since my last wash routine, I have conditioned my hair just once, which was today. So that is it for an update on my hair. That is it on the breakdown of the ingredients for this product. And so until next time, please take care of yourself. And this is Naturally Z signing out. Peace.